I am currently a first and second grade teacher in Austin. And I'm a software engineer. When I met Alan, I was his son's preschool teacher. I would stay behind even when Quentin wasn't at school. I would come over and help. He would show up. I would show up. <laughs> a few years ago, they sold their home in California and moved to Austin, where she has family. But the lure of the beach kept calling. And it's like, how far away is the ocean from Austin? It's like four hours. Uh, that's a drive. What will be nice is when we have our own place. We're staying in a short-term rental here in Port Aransas, looking for our vacation home. We're kind of polar opposites. I am an impulsive person, and when I see it, I love it. And this is what I want. And right then and there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alan is very meticulous. I'm an engineer by trade, and therefore, there is a certain way of doing things. This is nice. Kitchen opens up to everything. It's really, it's really cool. A little it, it narrow. We want something big enough for everyone. Also, maybe 2,500 square feet. Are they uh, all coming at the same time? Yes. Oh, OK. Just checking. At least three bedrooms, three bathrooms. We need enough space to share with our family. And just where I'm from, um, the Bay Area, a lot of the houses, even the older houses, are very modern. I just really like that, and I think it sort of fits our personalities, too. Some French doors that go out into the garden, and you can go walk down the garden into the, where the pool is and maybe have a barbecue out there in the yard. Well, All the outside stuff no, that well, I don't want to do. Why I want the condo is there's no maintenance, there's no nothing. A place where I could actually relax. Beach view, balcony, ocean. I know the beach view, the beachfront, is going to be expensive. 900 is where I am very comfortable, you know, going to. To me, that money is, that extra money is worth it. Short-term rentals, that's one of our goals. It's not to make money off of it. It is basically to pay the HOA fee, to pay the property tax. Whereas I'm willing to walk, I don't think five minutes is a long time to walk, and then we save some money. I'm willing to go max 700 but let's see what's out there. It can't all be based on numbers and facts. It's gotta be how you feel, your emotions. Everything works out perfectly in the end, yes. as long as we do what I want. <laughs> Lisa and Alan are starting off at a single family home just five minutes from the beach. I see, I can, well, I don't see the beach. I can see where the beach is. The dunes. I can see the dunes, yes. This is listed at $665,000. Oh, and HOA fee is what? HOA is 1000 a year. A year? It's a year. It includes the gazebo, swimming pool, and a golf cart accessible boardwalk over to the okay. beach. Oh, so that's golf where we... cart? There's water back there, and you'll hear the water. I think it'll be just fine. You can hear it. It's only about a five-minute walk. Here's our first bedroom. Oh. It's a nice room, might be a little small. Just getting everyone in. Ooh. If you don't like the color, you can change the color. A little bit of paint goes a long way. And we wouldn't even necessarily have to bring in a, a contractor. These are things that you could do in your free time. My free time, yes. <laughs> Add it to my list. Cool, now we need to keep this. This is for your hamper. Oh, okay. it's a hamper, okay. Okay, and then you've got your linen. So I would have to explain to the kids what a hamper is. <laughs> and here's the primary. The floor is different. Yes. Okay. Nice big room, though. It's like it a is. king size bed. Ooh, big bathroom. It has your tub. He enjoys it. He, okay. just, he just likes to pretend like he doesn't. Um, I couldn't see the beach. No, but there's water right outside of that door. You and can hear the water. I can hear the water. And I bet you could way. smell it. It's exactly what Lisa wants. But then again, if I'm going to the beach, I want to be able to see the beach. I'm sure this is exactly what Alan needs. He Perfect. just doesn't know it. It's a little bit far from town. I wonder why Michelle picked this place. Gosh, I wonder why. Ooh. Maybe for me? Possibly. Maybe not. That's what it looks like for me. It is the 709. Oh, it better be an amazing view of the ocean for that much money because <laughs> That seems like a lot of money. Very nice. Look at that. Wait, that's it? That's it. You've checked this out before you came here? Yes. <laughs> so you I knew. saw all the pictures. 
Hello. Hi, Michelle. Hey, welcome. Um, I think it looks nice. I think it needs to be power washed. This building had some exterior damage from Harvey 2017, but they're going to be repainting the exterior. So don't be don't be afraid. This is these are brand new elevators. They look <laughs> they're going to be fine. They got to this unit happens to be the penthouse, so the views, you're just not going to see these views anywhere else on the island. Two and a half bath. Okay, so there's over 1,400 square feet. Half Burning. bath. I really don't like the countertops or the cabinets. Definitely. Paint goes a long way on cabinets. But I think it's a little too closed off. I, I'd like to be able to have access to people out here. Technically, this condo is move-in ready, but there are so many things that I would need to change to make it ours and to feel comfortable in it. Look, this is this is why we're here. That is amazing. Let me see. No, <laughs> Alan, please don't. You can see the beach. Yes, you, you can, can hear see the, the beach, waves, but you can't use the balcony. What's the point? Right now, it's being redone. They're using doing floor by floor. All of this will be replaced. Come on, let's look at the rest. This is your primary bedroom. Wait, this is the primary bedroom? This is the primary bedroom. Look. This is how no. you separate it for privacy. Very common in Porter Kansas in condominiums. No. It separates the primary bedroom to the living area. It allows you the opportunity to open up the living area. At nighttime, it becomes private. You could rent anywhere from $400 to $700 oh. a night. It's managed through the complex, so you're not having to worry about any rentals, any maintenance, or any of that. The complex will take care of that for you. That would be nice for you, because yes. Yes. you usually no, want to just... Yeah. No yeah. calls at 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> the view is beautiful, but there's no yard. It's not a house. I want it big enough where we can be here with the kids, With if my brother wants to come, if your brother and his family, and you... We have a lot of family. It's quite a ways away from the beach. How far is quite a ways? Like five to seven blocks or something like that. That's not a far walk. For you. Today, they're seeing an updated single family home with her open floor plan. Hello. Hi, Hi Michelle. Michelle. Hello. I love the siding, the colors. I love the fence, the grass. I can see the beach. That's, I can see the ocean. But you can hear it. That's, I can hear it, yes. You can hear it. Okay. You're good. You'll, just let's give it a chance. This is great. So this is an open floor plan, kitchen, living, dining, over 1,500 square feet. <sighs> oh, that's a little small. We can have our kids here. We can have our nieces and nephews here, but not at the same time. That would be nice. Yeah, but it's also nice to have everybody together. Stainless steel appliances. The appliances are nice. Granite tops. This house has just been reduced recently. Now it's listed at $749,500. Okay. But the furnishings do come with it, so you will not need to purchase any and furnishings. That's a little high. How long has it been on the market? It's been on the market for not quite a year. Oh. It gives us room to negotiate price because Absolutely. they've been on for a year. There's no HOA, so this house is zoned for short-term rentals. Yay. Let's look outside. This is okay. probably where you're going to spend a lot of your family time. Plenty of room for a pool. Our screen porch. Could you just picture a screen porch right here? There's still space for barbecuing. Would a pool fit here? Absolutely. Perfect for a cocktail pool. That's a cocktail pool. It's a little plunge pool. Renters love to oh. sit in and have a cocktail in the evenings. You could get your swim-up bar. There are times when Alan gets stuck and tunnel, sort of a tunnel vision. And I feel like he's not really looking at the whole thing. There are gardeners that we can bring in. We can zeroscape the yard. So there is very little work. Let's check out the bedrooms. Got one guest room right here. Floors are different. This is a pine, do you like it? Not really. Um, I'm more of a more modern, more I'm not a fan. Feel. And here's bedroom number two, bunk room. We could reposition this, maybe put some video games in here. This is a nice bunk bedroom if we had to have a bunk bedroom. Well, we would to sleep everybody. Full bath. There's no way. It's a little small. Maybe oh, on only one see. sink. Primary bedroom. This is a pretty good it's size. It's kind of small. It's not too bad. I mean, it's just us. True. The bathroom's a good size. Only sink. one sink. 
Yes. Look, there's your balcony. There's my balcony. I will concede that the, the view is not exactly what you had in mind. I think that's it over there. I <laughs> squint and get my binoculars out. If you I put can... your glasses on. OK, that might help, too. This is nice, I do admit, but there is no beach view. There is no ocean view. There but is... it's walking distance. I think maybe we could work with it. Let's just put an offer and see what happens. Let's not say we did. Lisa is very impulsive, but on decisions this big, I think that's that's not okay. Is this what we really want? I think I got everything. Check the bed, check everything. Closet. Under the bed? Yes, I checked under the bed. <laughs> okay. Now Lisa and Alan need to decide if a house or a condo is right for their vacation home. I really liked the boring brown house. It was so open. We could have everybody there. It's a two to five minute walk to the beach. Price was 660s, which is really good. That's, 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 that's amazing. Cool. There was quite a bit of remodeling. Yes, but we can make it ours. That's true. But I was hoping for the short-term rentals, and I do miss my beach views. The condo was wonderful. It has the beach view. I can go out on the balcony in the morning, drink my coffee. The HOA takes care of all the rentals for us, all the outside space. We just worry about the walls in. I did like the beach right there, the fact that you can stand whichever direction you look, you see water. One of the things I'm concerned about is the HOA fee. And the other problem is the front was just when I You're pull up. The curb appeal? The curb appeal. The lack thereof. But they are working on it, and the value of having an ocean front, beach front, is always going to be there. But the blue house, now that had curb appeal. There was minimal work and no HOA. I, but it was small. The other thing is like, it does have a lot of maintenance. It had a lot of grass. The price of this one is more than what you wanted to spend. But we are getting the feeling of a home. You guys have to tell us which works. What works and, and what doesn't work. We're going to move the couch. What does mother want? Oh, OK, yeah, <laughs> right. We got the condo. We got the views. We got my balcony. I really didn't want a beach condo, but it is, it's is—it's—it's very comfortable. It's very cozy. Every room you go into has a view. We ended up at 675. 675 seemed a little high for me at first, with the HOA fees being what they are. But after thinking about it, talking to Michelle, and having her help me understand that the cost will be made up through short-term rentals, I'm OK with it. So are we keeping the accordion doors? No. Oh. We're going to get rid of the accordion doors, basically do a partition wall that hides into the wall. And just like making, making it work for us. I love the fact that this house is the perfect little mommy web or mommy trap that my kids could come to. And I think it's working. I've got two down. And I know once I get them in my little sticky web of the beach, they're not going anywhere. They're coming here and they'll just stay. 